and welcome to the new video. What are we doing today? Today we are going to create a virtual machine on VM Oracle Virtual Box with Windows 11 on it. Stick with me, this is going to be a fast tutorial. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's start with the video. So, what do you need for today's video? You need Oracle VM Virtual Box software and you need Windows 11 ISO file. Uh, you want to go to virtualbox.org, click on download VirtualBox 6.1, click Windows hosts and save it in here, double click after it finishes, install the software and I suppose you already know that. So I'm going to click cancel, I already have it installed and now you want to download Windows 11 ISO. So go to microsoft.com or type in Google download Windows 11 ISO file and it will redirect you to microsoft.com. In here you want to download Windows this image. So select download Windows 11, click download. So select the product language, choose one, whatever you want. I have downloaded English International, so just click right here and confirm. So you got a link, 64-bit download, click on it. And whatever you want to save it, save it, or it will automatically download to your downloads folder. All right, we can close this. Now, we want to run Oracle VM VirtualBox software. In here, this was my some testing Windows 10 machine, but we are going to create a new one. So new, let's call it Windows 11. So machine folder, where do you want it to be stored? Type Microsoft Windows version Windows 11. Uh, it is okay with the four gigs of RAM, uh, and we want to create a virtual hard disk now. So click create. In here, you again will be prompted with the location where the virtual box image will be stored uh, and allocate the file size for that virtual machine. So it is 80 gigs, it is okay. Uh, in hard disk file type, you want to check VHD or virtual hard disk. And on storage on physical hard disk, you want it to go on dynamically allocated and we want to click create. All right, so now in here, you want to go to settings. After that, in advanced, there is nothing again where the, where the virtual disk image will be stored. Description, if you want something, this description. Nope. Uh, now in system, you have motherboard. We don't need floppy, we only need optical and hard drive. This is all by default, processor we want two CPUs, acceleration default, display, how much video memory you want to allocate to this, I think 128, that is the max that you can pick out from VirtualBox, uh, storage, we have our hard drive and we have here optical drive that is empty right now, we want to click in here on this icon and click choose file. Now you want to check Windows 11 English International or whatever you have downloaded for Windows 11 and click open. Now it is mounted. In audio we don't have anything, network you can use NAT or you can use bridge adapter. I am there with NAT, serial ports, nothing, USB, nothing, shared folders. If you want to share some folders from your Windows 10 to your new guest Windows 11, you can do this in here, so by clicking plus, folder path, other, and choose whatever you want to share between two machines. Uh, user interface, that is all okay. Now we want to click OK. So we have mounted Windows 11 ISO on this virtual machine. We want to click start. All right, so this is our virtual machine. Press any key to boot. 
just check if this one pops up just like exit and go to or reset whatever now press any key and I also want this in full screen all right so view full screen mode and switch all right for better preview all right now in here you want to press shift and f10 it will open cmd now in here you want to type reg uh, reg all right enter and we have registry editor what do we want to do in registry editor we need to create some keys and d words uh, for virtual box machine to be able to process windows 11 installation so in here we want to go to xk local machine now go in system now go in setup in here you want to click on setup right click new key and to call it <coughs> lab config with capital l and capital c and press enter all right so we have created new key in that new key we want to right click new and the word 32 bit value we want to call it by pass tpm check so bypass b capital tpm all capital c capital and check lowercase all right uh, we have created that new key right click on it modify and we want to give it one value data just to press num lock one and click ok so that is the first one again right click new d word 32 bit value and call it by pass secure boot check check is it right okay enter so bypass secure boot check b capital s capital b capital c capital all our lower keys right click modify value data one and click ok and pretty much that's it now we want to close this exit from command prompt in here language to install time tourist format keyboard or <coughs> keyboard or input method and that is all okay with me click next all right now install setup is starting all right so middle of setup i don't have a product key click on that all right we can go with whatever distribution let's click on windows 11 pro and click next it have a lot of features enabled and some of them home doesn't support so, uh, applicable notice and license terms check and click next so which type of installation do you want we want custom install windows only and this is our virtual hard drive so it is already checked and just click next now you wait for installation to complete I'm going to fast forward this and uh, yeah, catch you guys later. all right we are in there installation is complete now we are going to go through setup process is this the right country or region let's say yes choose yours of course my laptop is not strong enough to to handle virtual machine so a bit of waiting right but 
of course I want to show you all that maybe at some point someday this will go a lot smoother all right this is the right keyboard layout you can choose whatever you want I'm going to US keyboard layout yes we want to add second skip checking for updates hmm sit back and relax while the magic happens yeah that's the sentence you're welcome Microsoft you're welcome all right naming your device win 11 test next and again, just a moment. All right, how would you like to set up this device? So, set up for personal use, set up for worker school. We're going to click set up for personal use, click next. So, Windows 11 requires Microsoft account, uh, and uh, you can create one or login with the existing one if you click next you will get the message enter a valid email address phone number or skype name you can delete microsoft account after you completely install windows 11 and create local account but uh, for the setup installation process we are going to do it next we are in there Set up pin, 1, 2, 3, 4, confirm, 1, 2, 3, 4, and click OK. Uh, your pin can be a common pattern number. Alright, 9441, 9441. That is OK. <laughs> Alright, let Microsoft and Apps use your location. No, I don't want that. Except. Uh, find my device. No, I don't want that. Send diagnostic. No. All right. Required only. There is no more option for no. Improving. No. Tailored. No. Let apps use advertising. No. Let's customize your experience. Uh, well, business, family, school, gaming. We're going to go on skip. You can choose something from this if you want to. All right, backup. Uh, well, only save files to this PC. If you click next, it will prompt you to enter your OneDrive account for backupping Windows and files. So try premium office apps for... Uh, no, no thanks. Again, checking for updates. Alright, finishing. Hi, getting things ready for you. This might take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. No, I will not turn off my virtual machine. So it is one hour and ten minutes since I started recording. Maybe creating virtual machine on your PC will be faster or slower depending on your hardware. In here I have i5-5200 Intel processor with uh, two cores and four threads and 12 gigs of RAM and NVIDIA GeForce 940M graphics card. Uh, yeah, I know for virtual machine pretty low specs but uh, at some point in the future I will sure buy 
some better hardware to keep doing these things but since I'm still recording with my mobile phone and working on this laptop to provide you guys free educational videos so if you don't mind if you want to of course if uh, you have learned something from this channel there is always a donor box link down there in the description uh, you can donate if you want to of course uh, well, that money would be invested in better hardware and cameras and stuff like that to, to provide better content for this channel, of course. But the struggle is real. One hour and ten minutes of recording for simple virtual machine with Windows 11. This could be done, I think, in 20 minutes. If you have good hardware, of course. Alright! After 1 hour, 12 minutes and 57 seconds, we are there, we have installed Windows 11. Yeah, our virtual box. So, now, probably in the background, it needs to go a few things, but uh, what I want to tell you. <clears throat> don't forget to go in virtual box to devices and insert guest edition CD image. After that, go on File Explorer. Oh, this is so slow. Whoa. And go to CD Drive. This one. And go to VBox Edition. Alright, Windows Edition. Double click. And it will install all necessary drivers for this virtual box to work. Okay, yes, it will go through setup process, it will install display adapter and a lot of stuff, so just don't forget to do that, so next, destination folder, next, virtual box, directory, slot menu entries, and click install, as you can see VBox driver, video, mouse, guests, control, tray, SVGA and a lot of stuff happening in background. Do I like this this device? Yes. As you can see, VDDM video driver, driver package install, plug and play devices. And I suppose we are going to get 9020 by 1080. Oracle provider, return, effective, adding, output, and reboot now. So I want to manually reboot later. You can reboot it right now. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, share this video with your friends, subscribe on the channel. If you want to, you can donate. I said it already. Donor box link down there in the description for better equipment and cameras and external capture devices and a lot of stuff. If you want to, you can do it. And yeah, I hope you have successfully installed your Windows 11 on virtual machine and yep that's it until the next time goodbye